So, here's the story on the car that a lot of people don't know. This car is going to Barrett Jackson. We know that. Selling lot number 5017, Saturday around 1.30, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It's going to be a pretty cool year this year. A lot of race cars, a lot of, lot of high-profile race cars. The Snake and Mongoose Hall are going to be there with the matching funny cars. Both Don Prudhomme and Tom McEwen are going to be there. Really kind of cool. The car itself's got complete documented history going back to the original owner. Now, as you well know, Ronnie Sox wasn't the original owner. He got the car about a year after it was bought new. Bill Vanway was the original owner. He teamed up with his partner, they bought the car, and they financed it through Chrysler. This car was financed through Chrysler. His payment was about a hundred bucks a month, and it was a lot of money for him. They campaigned the car for one season. After a year of racing, they realized it wasn't going to work. They didn't have the funds, they didn't have the background, they didn't have the hardcore knowledge to run with the big boys. Sox and Martin, Billy Stepp, Dick Landy, the list goes on. Bill Grumpy Jenkins, Dave Strickland, we can go on forever. So, end of the year of racing, they decide they want off on the car and get rid of it. Billy the Kid Stepp, another Ohio racer, steps in and says, you know what? I'll buy the car. What do you want for it? Just pay off my loan, $3,400. So, car gets down to the shop, gets converted to a four-speed. They do all their bells, whistles, and tricks to it. They start campaigning the car. Car won a lot of races. Having an interview with Buddy over this car and talking about it, Buddy said this car worked and worked well, and Ronnie liked this car. So this car got raced a lot until they switched over to their 71 Hemi Cuda body style. Move on to the 70s. This car always stayed in the stable. A lot of stuff came and went, but Ronnie held on to this car. For what reason, we don't know. It was a good car that worked. As Ronnie and Buddy got along in age and they started getting out of racing in the 80s, the car became an exhibition car. It ran grudge races all over the country, exhibition races. The name was huge, the name was big. Everybody still wanted to see it. Got converted to an automatic sometime in the late 80s, basically because the horsepower was really starting to come along, but the four-speed transmissions weren't really keeping up with it. So as time went, a lot of guys went to automatics, and that's just the way it is. This car was last raced approximately 1992-1993. As you see it in this trim, there has nothing been changed on it other than keeping it maintained, updated running, and being able to display and use the car. I'll get in the car, turn the batteries on, click on the fuel pump, couple pumps on the gas, the sucker will fire right up. car's got a lot of neat little tricks in it. One of the things you notice is these straps right here. These are limiting straps. They're welded in, tubes go down, these grab the lower control arms, and they have a, a row of holes in here so they can control the amount of travel the front end has. You know, if they need the car to leave a little higher, leave a little lower, they just do this kind of stuff. It's got the right block in it. It's got the right carburetor still on it that have been raced with it. It's got the right intake manifold. The intake manifold's uncut. Usually those things are cut and modified. It hasn't been cut. The glass, Owens Corning lightweight glass, original sheet metal on the roof, doors, quarter panels, inside the trunk. The interior is original. 
That's the original bucket seat, A100 seats that came out of a Dodge van that they would put in these things to make them lightweight and eliminate weight. Weight was a factor. Weight was a killer in racing. You wanted to keep this stuff as light as possible. Inside the trunk, aside from stuff that goes with the car, is a fuel cell. Not a very big fuel cell, five gallons. Okay, so there's your five gallons worth of fuel. Good for about one or two passes down the track, refill it, go back out and race. Dual fuel pumps, two huge, huge batteries. Why are they huge? One, extra weight, right rear corner of the car, helps plant the rear tires. Right here is two weight bars full of lead shot. They have a little cap on them, you open them up, you take weight in, you put weight out of them, whatever you want to do to, to get the car weighed right. And these bolt down in the car. Each one of those weighs, I think they weigh about 125 pounds a piece and when they're fully loaded for the pair. And that's it, you know? Other than being modified for uh, racing as time went on and stuff changed in the class, this car is as it was last raced in around 92, 93 era by Ronnie Sox. And then the car changed hands a few times. We have a full documented history on the ownership from the day it was bought new until today when we're selling it.